So starting things off, where this all started, my buddy Verb, Kyler, and I were just playing random squads fill for Protect the President, and we met this girl named Quian. Quain, we are about to have the best game of Fortnite in your life if you place a check mark somewhere on the map right now to acknowledge that you hear me. Did he? Oh my god, he did. did. <gasps> oh my god, Cheryl? Most of you know how this story goes. We played Protect the President with her, and uh, that was pretty much it. That video did really well, and a lot of the comments were saying, do another one. About a week later, we ended up playing another one with her, and throughout this entire time, Quian was going from the random squads fill to, like, the nicest Fortnite girls. She was literally building a huge fan base, a huge audience, and uh, at the end of this video, there were so many comments telling me to buy her. Her the max battle pass the next bit we did with her i said if we win we get to buy the max battle pass for her she agreed we went on her account and and you guys pretty much know what happens after that oh my gosh dude i Thank told you, you i would actually so buy much. it oh my god are you tweaking Thank out right you. now what's going on oh my god no, don't cry, dude. It's okay. This video absolutely killed it. After this, Quian officially built the biggest Fortnite reputation for herself. And I think to this day, this is still my most liked video ever. So thank you so much for that. But after this video, the very next day, Quian, the person everybody knew and loved, just vanished. The Fortnite account, the person behind the Fortnite account, everything we knew just vanished. And until this day, has yet to come back online. The nicest Fortnite girl turned into the missing Fortnite girl. YouTubers started posting about it. There's been people saying she has a voice changer. There's people thinking she's real. Some people don't even know what to say. But at the end of the day, this is easily the biggest Fortnite conspiracy theory ever. In today's vid, I have some final evidence to show you guys. And I've done my research. I've done my digging. And I have some never before seen footage that I know you guys are going to want to see. So with that out of the way, welcome to the final chapter of this entire situation. I'm hoping this is where we can put it all behind us. Us, and without further ado, I hope you guys do enjoy. See you at the end of the video, dude. <laughs> Alrighty guys, ladies and gentlemen, first things first, if you're new around here, welcome to my channel, dude. Do me a favor, subscribe. If you enjoy the content, I mean, turn on those notifications too. But most importantly, for every single person watching this vid, I need you to destroy the like button right now, okay? Now that that's out of the way though, let me say, I, I know, okay guys, I know. You're making fun of me, the llama's making fun of me, like look at this guy. <laughs> In the last video, I know, I know, in the last video that we made on this entire thing, I said it was the final one. At the time of uploading and publishing that video, I said it was the final one, and I felt very content with the situation. But then I uploaded that video, and this entire situation got even worse, dude. Other YouTubers started posting about the situation. There were so many comments from you guys telling me what you thought was going on. You guys know I read all of the comments, dude. But other than the fact that, like, literally 33% of people think that she's fake, 30 33% think she's real and then the other 33 are just like me and like have no idea other than that guys I wouldn't return to this situation unless I had some sort of new evidence for you and in today's vid I'm gonna be going over every single side I have new evidence supporting the fact that she could be real that she could be using a voice changer but I also have some other stuff that's not really evidence but it's never before seen footage that I found like literally an hour ago and it honestly dude it just made this entire situation so much worse like let me say this is easily the biggest fortnite conspiracy theory i have ever seen guys like this whole missing fortnite girl thing is just so big and um once you guys make it to the end of this video and and once you see what i have to show you uh make sure you let me know what you think down below and uh yeah man now that all of that's out of the way like <laughs> I'm really scared to get into this. If you're new here, I try to catch you up in the pre-intro explanation of who Quian is, but moral of the story, the nicest Fortnite girl, literally the biggest topic on Fortnite, just disappeared and she's gone. She's been gone for quite a while now. Like if she was just on vacation, this would be an insanely long vacation. But all in all, this Fortnite account is just completely offline. I've seen some comments that are like, Landon, why are you so obsessed with this whole thing? And it's like, dude, honestly, I thought we were done, but obviously we're not. If this whole situation turns out where Quian is a guy and that she's using a voice changer, I could care less. I think at the end of the day, we all got plenty of entertaining content. A 
of course it would end up being a huge meme if I ended up buying like a guy who's pretending to be the girl of Battle Pass. Like, I don't think I'll ever live that down, but I just want you guys to know, like, I think the thing everybody wants to know is if the Quian account is who she says she is or not. And this, this, oh, dude. I went ahead, I put on the detective outfit for the final time, dude, because this is officially the final vid unless Quian just magically comes back. But first things first, the best place to start is on this video right here. The vid we're looking at right now is from this man named In Glitches. He is a, I think, a Fortnite voice changer troller. This is footage from the side where people think that Quian is absolutely fake. And let me just play this intro for you guys so you can see just how crazy everything is. Keep in mind, I didn't even know this YouTuber watched my vids, dude. And it has like 200 and like 60 something. Okay, you know what? I think they literally like you more than they like me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. That's a guy. I'm sorry, Landon. Sorry to burst your bubble man but the rumors are true that's definitely a guy 100 percent. no dude <laughs> i'll save you guys some time so on this vid all this man pretty much does is like say that quian is actually fake he does a couple voice recreations of when she talks he gives some pretty good evidence that it's definitely a voice changer in his opinion and seeing as this got almost 7k likes and most every comment is saying like i knew it or wow like this is so much proof like there's a ton of people that are backing this side that she is absolutely fake. I think actually this guy went on to record like, I don't know, yeah, four more videos pretending to be Quian that are all doing like good. So as you can see, Quian is like, I don't know, I don't know how, I wish I was as big as Quian. What the heck? I've already shown this evidence before, but where this whole voice changer thing is coming from is actually like a really long story. I'll make it as quick as possible, but the first time my buddies and I were playing with Quian, like we didn't really think much, but the next two times we had our suspicions that there was a voice changer involved in in this entire thing. This is footage that we recorded from before Quian even like disappeared that I'll, I'll roll for you guys now. An SMG, that's it. What did she say? I don't know. Speaks a second yeah. language. Bro. I think so too. I uh, think it's just a voice changing gang in a way. Like, honestly. It's not a voice, there's no <laughs> way, dog. You never know nowadays, the internet's crazy. The clips you guys just saw was recorded before we even knew Quian was gonna disappear. Like, I think at this time, people on the viral vids with Quian were saying that she was using a voice change like this whole conspiracy theory was already going on but what I want you guys to take out of this video in particular is that this guy really goes on to show that voice changing is pretty easy seven six five four three two one oh my god so i personally don't know what you guys believe with this entire situation and let me be honest even i to this point at the time i'm recording still don't know what to believe i don't know what side to be on dude because i've seen the evidence like where people are like this is definitely a voice changer and a voice troller landon and i just i don't want to believe it dude okay you know what let me let me show you guys the evidence on why she could be real there's some things that i didn't even really think about in the past and actually okay let me pull this up so the sides of the argument where people are saying she's real is that a that she could be grounded like her parents could have found out that she was playing with random people on the internet got really mad and just grounded her forever and that's why she hasn't been on the account another side of the argument that most people know is that she could just be on vacation i mean it would be a pretty 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 long vacation if you're asking me like there are a lot of people like this person quian talk i would just like to say from the bottom of all of our hearts we all believe in quian and we are all supporting you landon we are hoping she will come back and play quian if you see this we all love you to bits and we want you to come back we are supporting you landon same with quian like this is exactly how i feel dude like i want quian to come back and i want to turn on a vid and just play with her again i hope she's not fake because dude if she's not fake like imagine guys if quian comes back we play another game with her she says she's real she proves it to everybody i don't know if this is just a me thing but i feel like we could make quian a youtube account and get her a hundred thousand subscribers within like a day dude so another little bit of evidence that a viewer actually pointed out to me that was really cool is at some points in the vids with quian um she commented this which was like really good evidence and this game we were doing around where she said she had to go soon i'm pretty sure like so this is something a viewer actually pointed out but right here in this video I'm clip right i we're think still she alive says, for i have to go Oh yeah, she, so, like, she has to go. Yeah. And then I clutch the situation no. and like convince her to stay. Queen. We ended up playing a little bit more. We got sent back to the lobby. And then once we were in the lobby, she typed in chat, look at this. She said, if you hear my dad yell in the background, I have to go. So, I mean, that just kind of goes to prove that she's real, right? Like what voice troller would say something like that? The viewer who brought this up actually really impressed me. You know who you are, but there are things that you guys have been commenting that I didn't even think about, dude. Like there's a reason why I read 
every comment, dude. And I, I really like hearing both sides of the story because it's really down the middle on if she's real or if she's not. At this point in the vid, all I've really done is show you guys the two sides of the story, whether she's real or not. And for everybody who's made it this far, thank you very much. But since this is the final chapter, I need to give you guys some closure and I need to give you guys my legit final opinion on this entire thing. Of course, I hope Quian comes back because, hey, that, that would be amazing content. But as you guys know, I am still really, really, really down the middle on this entire thing. That's been what I've been saying for the past little bit. And I've always believed in Quian. Um, but I was re-watching some of my footage and I, oh, dude, there's just some things in here, some clips of when she's talking, like just certain things that just really tweak me out, man. Most of this footage you guys have already seen, like this clip where I uh, said, imagine Quian has a voice changer and we're about to buy her the battle pass. Like, I would literally die. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Who would have thought, dude? Like, literally, I had no idea this was gonna go so big. I kept scrolling through all of this footage. I rewatched most of it to see if there was anything I was missing, any, like, evidence I could give you guys that would be like, yes, she has a voice changer, or yes, she is, like, actually a real person. And then I stumbled upon this part in our conversation that just wasn't left in the video. And what I'm about to show you guys, I don't want this to be taken the wrong way. Like, if Quian is real and I don't want this to hurt anybody's feelings, that is the last thing I would ever want is to, like, hurt Quian if she actually is who she says she is. But right here, she said something that just makes me so, so, so suspicious, dude. Like, look at this. I know this is personal, but are you rich? Am I rich? Yeah. Uh, are you rich? I mean, no, not really. Are you sure? Uh, <laughs> I'm not rich by any means. I do good for myself, but I'm definitely not rich. Like, I don't know what you consider rich, but what I consider rich, I'm not there yet. I still have a long way to go. A million V-Bucks. Like, oh, right? dude, not I only... <sighs> That's like... How much money? You know, at this point in the video, I didn't really think about her asking me how much money I have. Like, I get that comment a lot where people are like, how wealthy are you, Landon? You buy so many battle passes for people. I didn't think anything about it, but the fact that I got asked this by somebody who, you know, could be a guy with a voice changer wanting to know how wealthy I am. Like, I don't know, dude, this... <sighs> Guys, do you see why this is such a difficult video to make? Like, do you see why there's so much drama and juiciness behind? Like, you know what, guys? I'm get, I'm gonna be honest. Quian this entire time has secretly been this llama, right? <laughs> right here no i'm just i'm just kidding dude i don't i don't even know what to say obviously her asking me this could have been like just a super genuine thing but it could have been a little bit more malicious at the end of the day and i just i just don't even know what to believe anymore man all i know is i really 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 hope quian comes back and we can settle this whole thing but like then i look at this footage dude i see this footage where i like i just don't know what to think because it sounds like a voice changer but it's like this could be a real girl and if, if everybody's calling it like it's a voice changer she's gonna get upset that her voice sounds like that and it's just like it's just such a complicated situation man it's great content but man like <laughs> i can't even believe how much research people have put into this dude you know what ladies and gentlemen at the end of the day guys i really hope we can put this behind us the only two options that we have in front of us moving forward is that a quian's gonna come back she's gonna come online we're gonna figure out if she's real or not or she's never gonna come back online again and no matter matter what ends up happening, I guess, I guess we'll see. Obviously, if she comes back online, I'm gonna make a video about it, but this is, this is my final opinion about the whole thing. Quian, if you're watching this and you are real, I'm sorry that this is such a big deal that you're coming back to. I hope your vacation was fun, but dear Quian, if you're fake, um, at least tell us, you know, like at least leave some sort of like secret voice message. So the final thing I'm going to leave you guys with is if there's any other YouTubers that come out and say like, yes, she's real or yes, she's fake or I'm Quian, like don't believe those guys, people. If you see a Twitter account pop it up, that's like a fake Twitter. I mean, if you search Quian on Twitter or YouTube at this point, she's so big. There's like a hundred accounts pretending to be her, right? I'll try my hardest to keep you guys updated. But at the end of the day, I A, want to know what you guys think, but I B, I I'm ready to put this behind us. Dude. So with all of this being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, remember to crush that like button, dude. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you did. We're almost at 1.3 mil. Uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram down below. You could tweet me what you think about this. But most importantly, I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, safe, and amazing day. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>